Hi, Shanties. Hi, Shanties. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have echo. <laughs> Hello. Look at what I just made. <laughs> Hola, Jacqueline. Otra vez. <laughs> so, I was making this um to hold the memory decks cards. Super easy. I mean, you can make it with like three dollars, maybe. So it's super easy. Um, this I purchased it from Hobby Lobby. It's this um, little mini storage photo box. So, and its half price is one fifty because it's Paper Studio. So. And all I did was um, put some felt inside and I purchased some wood sticks, but the straws are so much easier to cut. So you can use straws and um, yeah, you can store them in there. These are the actual memory dex cards, you see? Oh no. I need more glue there <laughs> and you can store them like that so it's super easy to, to make it and <laughs> since we have the challenge going on and I know you know when we start making one we make like a whole bunch of them so if you guys want to make some and store them and you know you can have them for your crafty friends to store their information in there so um it's super easy and economical to make instead of spending 20 30 40 dollars on a rolodex um storage thing so you can make it with a couple of bucks So I wanted to give you guys that option, the super um, economical way to um, store your your memory decks cards. I believe you can also store your um, 4x6. I'm going to check real quick. So these, these are really cute. They have them... Um, in Hobby Lobby, they have different designs. They have like polka dots, black, and, pink, and white polka dots, and um, I think they're cute. Hola, Carmen. How you feeling? <laughs> well in the group you can have some friends so you can send them to <laughs> in the facebook group so i used you guys can use any wet glue you have i'm using the fabric tack but you can also use um the tombow glue not this one, the clear one that they have. I'm doing good. But since this one is here, is next to me, so I'm going to use this one. And look at how cute. I just covered the inside because I didn't want to see all that white inside. So, I think it's nice and, you know, really economical to make it. And you can put the lid on too and store it like that. But we also have the 4x6 ones, so 
If you guys want to have storage for the 4x6, you can also store them like that in there. See? It's perfect for that one. For that one too. I actually like these better. And just put a certain amount in there. They don't get squashed and moving. They don't move around like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I already cut um the felt. Since we're going to put it, it's going to be 11 inches long and 6 and a quarter inches wide. And then the other piece is going to be 4 and a quarter. Right. Five inches by four and a quarter. And I kind of messed up with that one. <laughs> it's not supposed to be that. Okay, I grabbed the wrong piece. So it's gonna be, I think it was like four and a quarter by four and a quarter I don't know if I should do it <laughs> let me just do it real quick and um So I put the big piece first and um try and line it up. I'm just trying to line it up with the top and just um See? That's all I'm doing is lining it up and just putting placing it in there. And you're gonna have like a small little piece, but you can cut that off. You don't have to do that, or you can put paper inside, or you can just leave it like that and just put the straws inside. Um, and that'll be fine too. But I didn't want the cards to get messed up, so I wanted something um, like felt to go in there that wouldn't damage it. Hello, Star. I'm just trying to show you guys how I made this quick and easy altered um, box for memory dex cards. I'm just gonna cut this piece so I can be the same size as the other one.
Hi. This is a box I purchased from um, Hobby Lobby. This is from Paper Studio. It's only a dollar fifty this week, since all the Paper Studio stuff is um fifty percent off. So it's super easy to make and a really really economical way to store your um memory dex cards. The ones we're doing for the challenge and um. I just wanted to share this idea with you guys since I've been looking for a way to store the cards that you guys are sending me. I already got the first entry, um, so I'll be doing a video later on today and posting it. And all I'm doing is covering the inside so it's soft inside. And I don't know, I'm silly like that. <laughs> and that is it for the glue. Oh, <laughs> it was quick. I was just showing you guys the TNs that I had. Um, that they ordered, and I was gonna mail them out, and they came out so cute. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, Miss Diamond. I mean, who's not looking for an economical way to, you know, store things? And it's cute, too. And all you have to pay is, like, maybe $3 and you're done. Because you need two pieces of felt. And the box is $1.50. And then some straws, so maybe like three dollars and change. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> a little bit different than what's out there I haven't I haven't I've seen people make their own boxes but some of us don't know how to make boxes you know and what easier way to make something if you're just gonna alter it right <laughs> Yes, and you can have some pretty, pretty cards, you know? You can have some cute cards stored in there. And if you want, you can put some lace up here. And, um, yeah, you can alter the top. You can make it, put some bling up there. I gotta fix that. Yeah, some ruffle too. You see? I start and you guys just go adding more stuff. And then you make some really, really nice things with your own ideas. And then all you have to do is what I did with the straw that I had, I put washi tape on them. Just, you know, 
I gotta put some more glue on the top. So you measure it and just, you know, cut it with your scissors. Just measure one. And there you go with that. I think I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger than that. Cause it, I want, you want it to go in there kind of, you know, snug. So, um, make sure you cut two of them. You can leave the straws as they are, or you can put some washi tape on them so they can match whatever design your box is. And you will need a, a card, you know, to measure the distance. But I'm pretty, I think I heard it's like an inch in between the, the space between each, each hole of the memory dex card. Or you can put one in there and like, and just measure it and that's it. Super easy. Really easy, really fast to make, and you can store them in there, put your lid inside, put your lid on it, and it'll be fine, because the, the cards, you can place them a little bit lower, and they will be fine in there. So... Really easy. Now you can put your your lid on and you can put your memory dex cards in there. That's it. Really fast. Really easy. <laughs> it is easy. All you need is some glue. Some glue, some wet glue. I wouldn't use um, hot glue because hot glue tends to leave like bumps on on the felt or whatever and it's not flat um what else glue some straws felt the box and you're done and some memory dex card to store them in there so um super easy really fast i think i made two of them super duper fast so <laughs> these i put washi tape on them these, I left them like that, but I'm going to cover them also with washi tape. And the thing I like is that you don't have to put anything to put these in there permanently. I mean, you cut them a little bit bigger so you can fit snug in there and that's it. And they stay in there. So since I already have this one done, I'm going to use this one one the four by six the four by six cards and I know they're not gonna get messed up because they're not shaking around and, and um, they're gonna fit in there perfect see <laughs> and I'm already putting in there all the ones that I have that I have done and that is it guys um I just wanted to stop by and show you guys this option so you guys don't go crazy spending 20 30 dollars on something that you can make yourself for a couple of bucks so thank you Sarah um that's it for, for now. I'm going to let you guys go because <laughs> yeah, two in one. <laughs> we're making two different sizes, right? We're making the memory dex cards and we're making the alter index cards. Um, so we're using something that's going to hold 
both options that I have going on for the challenge and same material same box same everything and you can store them <laughs> so I hope you guys really like this and I hope you guys make them and I'm gonna fix this and put some glue up here but you guys don't need to stay with me <laughs> for me to do that and um, yeah Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Sorry about the clapping. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye. Have a nice day, guys.